Hey there, a lot of people have asked me, how does solo ads work? I've made other videos about solo ads and they're just not really sure exactly what that is. And there's a lot of controversy. Some people rave about it. They say it's really helped their business. Other people say stay away from it. The reason people say it helps their business because they're new and they want to start building up their email list and it's it gets discouraging to just ask your family and your friends and you're setting email sequences to people that probably are just being there to be nice so you can buy solo ads and build that list up from what i have read from other people um, that have used it and love it most of them say just build it up to about 2000 and then after that stop doing it now people that don't like it will say well then these aren't really organic people that are really looking for you um and that could be true but there's pros and cons uh, it, it really depends on where you're at what you want but in this video my job is to teach you what it is and i'm going to give you three tips to use if you decide to get uh, solo ads i'm going to give you three tips to watch for when you use them because you just don't want to jump in start buying ads and not really know what you're doing first of all what are solo ads solo ads are you're actually um having permission with you're buying your way into somebody else's list how's that so let's say john has 200,000 emails on his list and he says you know what i'm going to start selling solo ads my list is mostly from people who are in health and fitness so john's going to advertise himself either through a Facebook group or on a platform like this. Um, if you just Google solo ads or use the link below, um, it has solo ads link. This is the one that I personally use or started out with myself. And basically you go find somebody that, well, John goes on here and becomes a vendor and he says, I'm selling my ads. Here you come along, you're in the health and fitness industry and you're looking for somebody that is selling their list um, so that you can use it. And this is what happens. Um, I'm gonna use this first guy here. I did say, the name. let's go down here, Jason, that's close to John. Jason um, has, he's selling his ads and you're gonna go in and you can sell different increments. Usually they want you to buy increments of 100. Some people will say 50, but let's use 100 because it's easy to do the math. Jason is selling his ads at 40 cents a piece. So you go in and say, I wanna buy 100. Now, he's just not going to say, here's a hundred names. It's better than that. He says, I'm going to run your ad in my list. And as soon as you get a hundred clicks, then we're done. And you pay him $40. Now, right here, it says John over delivers by 15%. So he's probably going to give you 115 clicks, which is great. You get a little bit more. Now, what do we do with those clicks? Well, all those people have clicked and now out of that list, Hopefully you get a good 30 or 40% opt in. They're going to opt into your funnel page or to your website, wherever you led them in your ad that you gave to Jason. And then from there, you hope to get some sales. Now I want to point something out right here. See this 27%? Jason has a rate of 27% out of every hundred um, sales that go out, 27% of them are a hundred I'm getting all tongue-tied out of a hundred emails that go out it says it right here um 27 of those are sales so he's he's got he's over delivering which is great but he's got a 27 percent rate um let me look at that again right 30 27 percent of his people out of a hundred people got sales now look up here at Kujim, his name is, I can't say it. I should have picked a different one, right? He has 44%. So his sale rate is better, even though he's charging more and he only over delivers by 10%, but his sale rates are better. So you really need to go in and investigate and look at each person. Now I'm going to give you one tip right off the bat. Tip number one, there's going to be three. Tip number one, don't go to one person and right away buy five or 600 because you really don't know how they're going to deliver. Yes, you can look at all the statistics and all of that, but you want to see if they're going to deliver for you. You don't even know if the ad that you're giving is going to be successful. So my, my advice in the beginning is just buy a hundred at a time and then you want to track it. And you're probably thinking, well, how do I track it? You can do it the old fashioned way and get your own Excel sheet and track, make your own tracking, um, 
Excel sheet and do it like that. Or you can um, purchase something like Click Magic, which will help you to track all of your um, affiliate links and things like that. It just depends on where you're at. If you're just small and you're just starting, use an Excel sheet, it'll work. But track, how many um, clicks did I get? What did I pay for those clicks? Um, how many of them opted in? What is the percent of opt-in? And then how many, how many sales did I make? And then you will buy more from that person. But I still recommend, let's say you went to Jason and you did really well, maybe you bought a hundred from him. I would still go off and do hundred hundred increments. I would use like five people at one time and really compare and see. You've got to remember other people are using these as well and you just want to spread out into different lists. So um, I've seen people go in and like buy a thousand and honestly, I wouldn't do that from one person. I would spread it out. So that's tip number one. Now I started giving you tip number two, you need to track. And this is why, let's say you buy a hundred ads from Jason. We're going to use Jason's name because it's easy to say, and you get lots and lots of leads and you're like, man, this is really good. I got like 60% opt-in, but I didn't get any sales. And then you go down here to Glenn and you have 40% opt-in, which is lower, but you have out of that 40%, you got four sales. So what is your ultimate goal? Your ultimate goal is to get the sales. So pay attention to that. And that's where you want to put that on your Excel sheet and track it. Like I said, you could also use a program. It's called Click Magic. I know I hear a lot of people use that um, and it'll help you track or you can do it yourself. So pay attention. Those are the things you want to pay attention to. Let's go ahead and dig in and look at Jason's. Um, you can open it up and see. Um, it says there that he has tier one guaranteed. And you're like, well, what is tier one? Tier one means that he is um, getting his, um, his list is basically from the United States, Europe, um, and Australia, I'm pretty sure. It's, it's basically your um, countries that got more money. How's that right there? His average sales all mostly come from the United States. So, I mean, it's, it's known the United States is where the money's at, right? Um, so you can look down and see where his tier countries are. And here we go. You can break them up. It says 100% top tier countries, United States, United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, New Zealand. And 89% of those are the United States, which is good. Um, you can go up here and find out more. He says he over delivers by 15%, 2000 fresh leads daily. So he is somebody that is actively adding to his list. Um, my list makes me $25,000 a month. So, I mean, that tells you that other people are buying from him. If he wasn't successful, he wouldn't be selling. I mean, just think about it. People might buy a hundred, then they'll never come back. So pay attention to the statistics, the description of each one of the people. Spend some time doing a little bit of research. He just sold 52 solos, 52 um, sales in the last couple of days. So again, he's very active. Um, actually right here, he's $43 for a hundred. We're earlier just said 40, oh, 40 cents. Um, so there's a little bit of a fee there. And he's had 100 visitors just today or in the last 24 hours. And this is where he is from, Thailand. Um, and again, go in, check it out, and make sure that's the right one for you. The third tip that I want to give you is I know the first time that I bought my first group of solo ads, I was like nervous. I really didn't understand what I was doing. I thought they were just going to send me a list of a hundred names. I was just excited to get a hundred names so I could send my emails. But I, I remember, um, when I did it, I just sent the ad to the person and it came back like within minutes. I mean, it was that fast because they've got this huge list that they run it through and then they stop it and they, they give, you'll see your opt-ins. Um, I think mine was like 40%. It was pretty good actually. Um, but what I didn't do, I didn't take time to really pay attention to my opt-in page. I just was so excited to get them. Cause like I said, I misunderstood. I thought they were just going to give me a hundred emails, which 
this way is better. So pay attention, make sure you send them to an opt-in page so that they have something to opt into. It can be on your website, it can be on your funnel. And then when you're there, make sure you're, you're giving them something on that opt-in page. If you're doing a funnel, usually you offer them something, you know, you, if you're health and fitness, you can say, Hey, I've got, you know, one week of healthy recipes for keto diet and people are going to opt in they get that book and they come to your page and then in there you may go to the sales page and sell them something and all that's a whole nother training but make sure you are sending them somewhere where they opt in because like i said when some people get started they misunderstand exactly what solo ads are and they think they're just getting a list of emails and that's not what it is so Hopefully that helped clear it up for you a little bit. I do have a solo ad link below. This is the one that I use. I've, it's been very successful. And like I said, I used it when I was starting to build my uh, um, email list and it really helped me generate some sales and get things rolling and made me feel successful as I was doing it. And like I said, after a while, you won't need to do that anymore. Once you have content, um, you're out there, you know, building traffic and getting your people to opt in from other sources of traffic, you probably won't need to do it anymore. You can do it again. It's up to you, but, um, hopefully that was helpful. Give me a thumbs up if it was and check out the link below. This has been a very good site. And like I said, some people like to go to Facebook and try to find people there. There's a lot of people in Facebook groups that are advertising. I like to use this platform because they've kind of been, checked out the people are legit um, you can't just come onto these sites and start selling things without the owner of the site checking you out and making sure you're legit so that's what i like about using this particular one all right check out my link and thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll have a video for you just about every day um, to help you to build your business thanks see you on the next video